Kathy, from rent prices to personal reasons, a lot of local businesses in Aiken forced to close last year. Now a small group of entrepreneurs are getting ready to open. Our Taylor Martin has your first look at these new shops. From Cindy Sweet Shop to Fuse Aiken, Aiken saw its fair share of businesses close in 2023. But there's an old saying that says as one door closes, another one opens. And with new businesses popping up all across Aiken, they're ready for your support. New restaurants, new clothing stores, and a new place to get your furry friend all nice and clean. I'm sorry to see some of the businesses go, uh, but I'm happy that we're being almost this rejuvenation of uh, restaurants in different types. Multiple different types of restaurants are coming to town. In just a few weeks, Asian cuisine will hit Lawrence Street at the Red Door. And on Saturday, everything from sandwiches to scallops at Salty Tomatoes. My favorite thing is probably the smoked Gouda grit bowl, personally. Um, and then lunchtime, we have sandwiches, flatbreads, homemade soups, everything we make from scratch. On the south side, a new approach to dog grooming will make its way to Aiken tomorrow. The owner calls it the Jiffy Lube of dog grooming. Go over to Publix, do a little bit of shopping, come back 45 minutes later, your dog is ready to go home. And part of that process is us educating dog parents on the health of their dog, anything they may need to take them to keep them healthy and, and keep them living longer. And if you're looking for unique Aiken themed gifts, you can stop by True Aiken downtown. I would love for our business to be known as a place that you just must visit if you come to visit Aiken or if you have friends and family coming to Aiken. We'll have more information and their addresses on our website, WRDW.com. Reporting in Aiken, Taylor Martin on your side.